Hi, I'm Pox. I'm Couch Guy. I'm Regable. And you're watching the Two Smart Guys show where we bring you the latest and greatest in computer hacking and mostly we, gadgets. Ways actually. to void your warranties yes, really creatively. Fun, fun things. And today, no exception. Well, I finally took the plunge and based on viewer requests, we are hacking the Nook. I looked into a couple different of these hacks. Um, there are the Nook devs. There's CyanogenMod, which is CM7. And then I f uh, a friend of mine uh, turned me on to FireMod. There are benefits and drawbacks on each one of them. Um, the Nook devs, a little more complicated install, um, but you kind of keep the same look and feel of the, of the Nook. The CyanogenMod is plain Jane. It's like the Android software like, where you get phone We've done access. episodes before on, on the CyanogenMod. Yeah. mod. And it's a, we you know it's very in the and the fire mod is cyanogen mod modified for the nook. So just to we'll show you what it looks like. This is fire mod. This is what we're gonna show you to do tonight. So it's you know, you now have five screens to move across like you know, most Android tablets. You have your full application store. And in, just in case you want to have your Nook now become a Kindle, you now have a Kindle. You've outlined the benefits of installing the Cyanogen mod. What would be the upside to uh, putting the Nook dev on onto your Nook? The upside to the Nook devs is it's very, very similar to the exact uh, to the original Nook operating system in terms of the feel, the shopping, the, um, the general browsing. Um, that's not the case with the Cyanogen mod and the Fire mod. You have to install... So what do you get by putting Nook Dev onto your Nook then? Nook Dev gives you the opportunity to install applications from the marketplace um, and root access. It really is root access and it does have, you know, the applications. I personally found it a little, found it a little clunky. Um, I didn't like the, the soft buttons as much. Um, it was awkward installing things. Uh, I installed things and they wouldn't show up and I'd have to reboot the device for them to show up and then miraculously they'd be there because I would think that they weren't there. So, uh, number, and then secondly, because of the different firmwares and things like that, um, not following the instruction, instructions to the letter, I bricked the device the first time, um, which you can unbrick them, don't fear, it is possible, but um, it's, it, because uh, of the way okay. that it goes in there, it's just it's much different. Because you don't actually do a live boot with um, some of the Nook Dev stuff. You actually do a different kind of boot with it where you plug it in to its cable and install the disk. And then it sits there for a second. And then you unplug the disk and start it. And I started I... it with the disk inside there, which bricked it. So okay. it was awesome. <laughs> so... I'm so a, uh, I like the idea of putting, you know, a CyanogenMod mod on there or a Fire mod because you get a relatively cheap Android tablet. Well, and it's a fully That's functional, a like it really is a fully functional. It, you e-read onto um, any of the, you know, like I have my Nook. Let me let me go through that because that's the biggest thing that someone brought up to me was that would it act still like as a Nook? And I got to find the app in here because so I basically just installed the <clears throat> oh. Well, on an SD card, it freaks out on me. Um, I installed the Nook software onto this, and it acts exactly the same way. You can shop. I can download my Nook files, and I can use any e-reader software I like. In case I don't like it for the EPUBs and things like that that I have, I can use Google's. I can use, you know, Kobu if I really want to. Um, awesome. So it, you still can use it as an e-reader. I can still shop on the, you know, on the Nook site. If I want to purchase, you can purchase on the web as much as you can purchase through the App Store. So it's like your purchasing power doesn't decrease because of this. And it's still tied to an account so that even if you Absolutely. do break it, you can still get so, access to what, you, what you've already bought. So. In, in many ways, I feel better accessing my account via the website than I do through their app. I don't know why. I just <laughs> I prefer the website. So what, what is the cost on a color, Nook? The, the Nook color is $250. Um, and I think it makes it, the ch as a fully functional tablet, the cheapest tablet you can purchase without. Because it doesn't have any um, 3G aspect to it, so you're not in the six, $700 range with some of the, either the iPad or, um, I'm trying to think, the Galaxy Tab or the BlackBerry version, which have, 
you know, I don't have 3G access, which so that pushes those devices much higher. If you're getting a contract, you can get these a tablet much cheaper. Hmm. Yeah, but, but the total cost of ownership is still going to be higher. Um, what's the cheapest iPad model then? A cheapest iPad model is 500 bucks. Unless you get a first gen. For bucks. a second, yeah, I think you can get 400 bucks for. That. So still, I mean, this is a really good sort of entry into the world of tablets. Well, and even with the the iPad, you're talking about the iTunes and the Apple, you know. Yeah. So you don't have the. We're talking apples and oranges, kind of funny enough. <laughs> um, the, in terms of mo applications, because there are applications that are free in the Android marketplace that may cost you in the, you know, from Apple. Right. So, anyway. This is it working. I just want to make sure because after we get done, it does take some time to download and get some of the stuff in here. But I wanted to show you what it, you know, right, it does so what, function. What's the process? So the process is we need to get uh, an SD card, uh, micro SD card. Um, I use a two gig little one, and I've got a, a reader. Um, you cannot really load this through the device. You're going to need to get some sort of an adapter for the side, or I have this little USB reader. Four pieces of software, and we're going to do this the Windows version because most of you have Windows and you know there are a couple. If you're using Mac, instead of using uh, the disk imager that I'm going to talk about, you can use DD. And I'm not going to tell you how to do it because if you do it wrong, you can destroy the disk. And the first two things we want to get is we want to get the Win32 disk imager software. I also used 7-zip. You need these mostly for unpacking and the imaging onto the SD card. Okay, that they're not functional in terms of otherwise for the hack. To actually get into the device and install your software, we're going to use Clockwork Mod, which you know we're familiar with from other Android, you know, hacking. It's a fantastic piece of software if you brick your so, device. So it's a it's a bootloader, right? It's, it's a bootloader. bootloader, and that will actually allow you to boot from the SD card, and then you can actually install from it. And I'll show you how that works. If you brick the device, you will be using Clockwork Mod, you know, on the Nook devs. That's how you do it. Nook Devs doesn't use Clockwork Mod, which is that's another differentiation between the two. You don't use that bootloader. The other thing we're going to download is FireMod 6.2, and you can get all that information down below. Yeah, in the show notes. <laughs> um, so simple enough. Clockwork Mod, um, once you download it, you need to unpack it, unpack it with 7-zip. From there, you'll take that image, and you will um, use Win32 Disk Imager to image that to your SD card. Make sure that your drive lever letter, letter is the SD card. If you choose your C drive, not that it would, well, it might take your C drive with you, it would say goodbye to everything. Okay, so the same thing as a precaution when using DD, you know, any of these um, disk imaging software will just overwrite everything to make an image of this file. Once we're done and we've loaded Clockwork Mod onto the micro SD card. And when you download Clockwork Mod, pick the file that's for the right size because they have different sizes. Uh, I have the 2 gig card, so I use the 2 gig software. If you use an 8 gig, use the 8 gig software. Um, the, um, once you're in there, go into the SD card, take the Fire Mod download that you had, put it in the root. So we've got You'll see your SD card will have a boot and a couple of the different files in there. Drop the zip right inside that main file. Okay. Once you've done that, take out your SD, your micro SD, and on the back side of your Nook, I don't know if you can see this very well. Right back here. Open this tab up. Slide in and close. Let's see. Did I turn my device off before? I'm going to turn it off real quick, so I power off. So once, you're, you know, once it's plugged in, boot your device. You have to hold the power key a little bit longer than you normally would. Once it boots, you'll actually see the loading. It'll be much different than you're used to, so it'll be significant. You'll, you'll know you're in the right it's loading with two skulls on the side. Once you're inside, you'll see this um, menu here. and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the previous system and then your volume up and down actually move the the source of there. The power button acts as a back button and the end button is your enter button. Okay? So we're going to go to wipe cache partition. <clears throat> Hit N for enter. 
Scroll down to yes, we really do want to write wipe the cache. It's going to take a second. Do that. Yeah, buying tablets always wipes out all my cache. Yeah. Well. -bum -bum. Yeah, exactly. All right, wipe data factory reset. This is a scary thing. By the way, make a backup if you, you know, if you're I'm not too concerned about the stuff that was on my Nook because I can download the books again. And for the most part, everything that was on there was no big deal, but um, take care to make your own backups. Because this is uh, non-recoverable once you do this and say yes. Say goodbye to everything that was on there. If for any reason this hangs up, um, one time, you know, a couple times when wiping these cache things, it hangs up, you can reboot the device and boot right back into it and just take off where you left off at. Once it says it's formatting done, it'll, it, occasionally it'll hang up and if the back button doesn't work for you, I've actually restarted and had no problem. So, so while we're on this, I just want to add that the show is brought to you by Citrix. Oh, absolutely. And go to meeting. Because at times you just can't travel to Dubai. You can't? Well, you maybe don't want to. Oh. It's a long trip. Anyways, online meetings made easy. Go to meeting.com. Go give them a free, tr give them a try. Get or a free if, trial. <laughs> say you're stuck in an underground bunker indefinitely. Yeah. With no hope of being let out. Go to meeting. Yeah, because how else do you get there? Sharing screens, yeah. all sorts of things. Um, when you do it, you use it. Um, Just enter the code podcast. Code co yeah, the code podcast. Podcast, three, free 30-day trial. Give them a shot. How's our, how's our mod coming? It's... It's liking me right now. We're good, at least. It's can't open anything. I think we're going back. All right, good. We're still alive. So advanced is the last tab. We're going to advanced, and we're going to wipe up, wipe out. Now, every time I've done this, I've had to restart. So I'm going to do it, but we're going to have to restart afterwards. You wipe out the, the Dalvik cache. And that sounds yes. familiar. <laughs> Every time I've done this, it just kind of goes, oh, okay, and then stops, and we have to reboot. But we'll see if I'm luckier this time. Do have a cache wiped? I think. Yeah. So I'm going to reboot real quick. Hold it down. I think it takes about 30 seconds from here. So you're just holding down the power? I'm just holding down the power, and after 30, about 30 seconds, it'll go off. And then I hold it again until it flashes. You'll see the screen flash, and you can let go of the power at that point. And then it just reboots right back into the bootloader. Okay, so this versus CyanogenMod. mod. The, the difference in booting this in, in that, when you do the CyanogenMod mod, um, CM7, you have to get it plus the Google Apps application. This installs a Google App application inside of it, so we're much better off in the end. All right, so once we've done all this wiping of system, we're going to go to install zip from SD card and hit the end button. Choose zip from SD card. Hit it again. And then we're going to have our fire mod nook version 6.2.zip. Hit enter. I'll scroll down to yes and hit go. And then you're going to see it start clicking away and opening packages. And this takes, you know, it hasn't taken up five minutes, but it can take, I guess, up to five minutes on some people's. So um, this is the point where you just kind of wait and let it do its thing. So, so more pimping. Um, we're a proud member of the Tech Podcast. Hey, you know that's awesome. <laughs> tech Podcast. You is know, cool. we're just we're just a whole bunch of other shows just like us that are on there. Tech Podcast dot TV. Dot TV. Dot TV. Dot com. And then. Uh, <laughs> Somebody on the chat was wondering about what the code for the go-to meeting was again. It's podcast. It's podcast. Yeah, podcast. It's, it's yeah, more simple than the source podcast. Yeah. Um, the other thing that this is a good time to mention it. Well, you know, it really is installing. Let you see if you want to. Um, we do these shows every week. Yes. Every so single you week. you can watch them live, or you can do what I would, you know, in some cases be doing. Um, because I don't stay up as late as well I do now, but. Um, <laughs> I subscribe on iTunes, and guess what? It drops in my mailbox, you know, in my inbox. Right as soon as it is, downloads after they show up, and we're good to go. So the best way to watch it, you just automatically has it come in. Just hit the subscribe button, 
Yeah, network. wherever you're watching this, there should be a subscribe button hovering around. Click it. It's in that it corner. It helps us that out. Corner. It helps you out, letting you know when there's a show. Sometimes it's over here. <laughs> um, Don't be afraid of the hovering subscribe button. It's your friend. <laughs> Um, the status bar that happens on the bottom here next to Mr. Android lies to you. I'll just be upfront no. about that. You know, don't trust an Android status bar. Because you get all hopeful because you'll see it zip across occasionally and you'll think you're almost done and it's really not there. So, um, the only downside about doing this live is that it does take five minutes to install sometimes. I guess if four minutes is as close to five as you can get. But, um, there it goes. See in there? It's, they give me a little fake. Hope right there. That's fake hope. I don't know if we've ever done a live show that, like the actual segment of the show live that's ever worked out. This is, well, this, okay. <laughs> wait, wait. Proof that it has worked out. Wait, here we go. <laughs> Install from SD card complete. Okay, it, that wasn't five minutes, despite how long it felt. It wasn't five minutes. Okay, so here's the important part. You need to unmount your SD card. So we're going to hit the, the power button for back. We're going to go to the mounts and storage which is almost at the bottom and button or enter and we're going to unmount SD card enter okay so from that point flip it over pull the SD card out if you just if you leave it in it will just go right back into you know um, the clockwork mod so it's out we back up again to the main screen and we hit reboot system now. Boink. Okay. So at this point, it's going to do the reboot. It's now going to take the Fire Mod 6.2, and you see it just reboots right away. But this first time it starts up, it could take a little bit longer than traditionally because it is initializing a whole bunch of stuff. Now, if you're, there's a couple things you need to remember. There's a success button right there. If you see this Android blinking, you've successfully changed your Nook. Okay. Mm. If um, at first, if you don't see the apps store or the marketplace show up, it more than likely has to do with the fact that you haven't got Wi-Fi. Um, you're not attached to a Wi-Fi network yet. That happened to me earlier, and it's in a lot of notes when you're talking about FireMod and even Cyanogen stuff. The um, as soon as you attach to it and go back, even you might have to re you know reboot. It happens. Um, don't be scared. It's in there. Um, when you first reboot this, give it a few minutes. Just leave it alone. Um, the recommendation is another five minutes to let it do all the background processing it is. We see a little Android man getting, you know, cooked here. Oh, because this is the fire mod. This is the fire mod. So you, you know. He's not on his little skateboard. No, it, it, see cyanogen, cyanogen mod, you'll see the skateboard pop in, and you'll see cyanogen. This one has got the little fire ring, ring of fire. I'm going to have to do an intro with that little robot burning. Yeah. Because I went through all the trouble of making him. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you need to, I think we'll do another show on this. If for any reason you are freaked out, something happens, you need to use the warranty. Now, this was absolutely going to void your warranty doing this. Um, if you need to go back to the original software, you can. Um, well, I think we should probably, you want to do a show on that? Yeah, it doesn't we'll take. Do it's very, very similar installation, but we'll do a separate sort of show on that. But it is possible, so don't be afraid. If you want to test this out, this is, you know, I feel a very worry-free hack for if you whether you want to sell the device later or if you just, you know, are worried that you want don't like it and you want to go back, you can absolutely go back. Now we see the home screen. Um, you've got your basic, you know, uh, down here in the bottom. Time. This little uh, wheel down here is a power level. You can go and um, let's see if we can see the apps. This is your basic apps. You can run through. Thank you. Weather current information is not available. I know. Thank you. Um, we can go through all of the five screens, which there's nothing in there right now because we haven't populated them. And let me turn in some five, you know, some information real quick for the um, Wi-Fi, and we'll turn on the Wi-Fi. So this being a stripped down version of Cyanogen mod, um, besides the phone component, what else was stripped out? Camera was stripped out. Okay. Um, I didn't know this before. This thing has Bluetooth. And I've, oh, really? never, I've never seen anything said about it having Bluetooth. 
but there's Bluetooth and it talks about how to use it. So can you um, use the oh. like stereo Bluetooth? They are working and stuff? on headsets for this. Hmm. Um, that's the the notes that I've read about it. Right now, what they want to do is get a headset working um, so that you can both use it for music and Skype, because the Skype app will work on this um, if you can use the Bluetooth. Because Bluetooth, turn it on. You know, I haven't explored that, but I plan to. So there's no mic on it, though. There's no mic on it, so you they're gonna try and put that into a build. So are there any apps that you've run across that don't? really run on Android running on a Nook? You know, I haven't really, because of the, honestly, the last three days, I've gone through four different builds on it. <laughs> I, I can tell you that An Angry Birds looks amazing. <laughs> um, really? Yeah, it really, like, I'll, 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 I don't know if I can download it. The, the, the specs on it, 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 sounds, it sounds to be more beefier. Than a lot it of is a little. It, what this will do is you do have overclocking options in here now, so. What what are, what is the processor? On processor it? runs 800 megahertz. You can take it up to 925, on the you know. And there's a way with the processor. Don't jockey with the processor if you don't want to like have problems. Like, you know, potentially, it's best just to leave it alone. But the processor default <clears throat> is 300 megahertz to 800 megahertz, and if you want to, you can push up to 925. Um, so, your battery life will suffer and all sorts so of things. So what, what version of Fro or is Android OS is it running now, then? Um, well, it's running off of CyanogenMod 7, so I don't know if that's what is it's it like 2. Point Fro is that Froyo or whatever? Is that yeah, it's still Froyo, 2.2 something. Yeah, it's it's not Honeycomb. Um, is there any Honeycomb devices out there? Yeah, the tablets. The new tablets are Honeycomb. Let me oh, okay. The phones see. aren't. Maybe I can, let, me, let me install my, or put my That's in, information whole, into the it here. That's the whole point we'll, uh, tablet OS. Gotcha. Yes, to Facebook. Okay, so once you get your information in there, it's going to ask you this one time, like, hey, you want to download all this crap? And you're going to say <laughs> yes, because, of course, you want to download every piece of crap that they want to have you download, um, including the things that say, like, Google Voice and YouTube. Oh, by the way, you can watch video on your... Nook color now. Oh, cool. So this is, um, so instead of installing a package, it just has a loader that downloads it after the fact. Yeah, it's like, it's saying, oh, oh you want to do Facebook, do you want to do Chrome So it's all legit phone? then, it's not, not illegal. Yeah, this is like, you know, you're, huh. you're talking to, and it says, okay. That's cool. I selected everything that I understood. I accept the user agreement because Android Marketplace makes you do so. <laughs> and they'll track you. Yeah, you know, they want to know everything I've downloaded. I've downloaded everything the last three days, four or five times. So you say, okay, and it's, you know, anyone who's seen the Android Marketplace, this is all very, very familiar. It's just like, yep, I want this. Yep, I want this. Oh, couldn't find it. Okay, never mind. Moving on. Removal maps. Um, 3G, 3G, 3D uh, acceleration for Google Maps and Google Earth works. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Um, so is that being done through the software, or is there some sort of hardware acceleration inside the Nook? Yeah, I honestly don't know. I've just seen them, like everybody, like that's the first thing that you see everyone display when they start pumping in CyanogenMod is the fact that it's, it's working. And this is no exception because it's a build off of CyanogenMod. Um, and, you know, with the CM7 root, it's good to go. The one thing you're going to want to download that isn't part of this um, if you want to watch videos, is you need to get the uh, Adobe Flash, and you're going to need to download that. Otherwise, wow. you can't watch. You know, you you won't be able to watch it. The, the videos. That, you won't be able to watch our Justin TV stream. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Google will do that later. Well, I guess I better do that now, since I'm not going to reinstall this again. <laughs> I've only done this so many times that I'm sick of typing my username in there. How's the keyboard? The keyboard, you know, <clears throat> overall performance is faster than um, the original Nook Color software. I don't know if I like the keyboard as much because it's smaller, um, but it is definitely a little sprier. It's much faster and much re more responsive, um, which has been nice. Because I felt like it was kind of, you know, occasionally the Nook color would be kind of lagging, um, especially while browsing the internet and things like that. This has got a much more interactive um, touch to it. So, okay, uh, why did I 
back. A noisy keyboard rack. Sign in. <laughs> uh, I've got an older one here that I'm working on too, so that's why. I love clacky keyboards. You're working on an old keyboard? Makes me feel like I'm doing something. It, well, it's it's an older laptop. You're not using your new laptop? I am. I'm yeah. using both. You, you can't work on two laptops at a time? Come on. <laughs> How many times have I shown up to the show doing two laptops at a time? Yeah, I can't say anything. I've got, you got three sitting, three over next to sitting around me right now. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> huh? Call so the kettle black. The, the biggest, uh, right after you get done doing this, it really is a matter of just getting through all of the, the sign-ins and everything else that you need to do. All right, so we're back into this. Um, the marketplace is, oh, come on, where did he go? There it is. Chasing the market around is kind of fun. Is there anything you want to install to test? To see, do you want to see Angry Birds? Angry Birds. Angry Birds is that's the, the de facto standard of any device making how, it run Angry Birds. How well can you make it? It used to be putting Linux on it, but now it's can, can it run Angry Birds? Well, and it used to be, you know, can you run Mario? You know, and now oh, yeah, it's, can we put Mario? There you go. You can do emu you, you, There's an emu emulators on Android Marketplace that you can download, right? Yeah. So here's the top games, top free. Uh, right on the very top of this lovely Rovio. Rovio, Rovio. Rotai Rovio. So is it free? Oh, of course. Anything that's in the normal anger, you know, in normal marketplace for free is free on this also. Because you're not going through a third party. Um, so, and you can actually, you know, just like before, you can monitor the download. And lovely enough, everyone else in the world is downloading Angry Birds at the same time. <coughs> Not to mention we're actually using this connection to stream and monitor ourselves on yeah, like three different you know, computers. <laughs> we are kind of pushing this like <clears throat> a little not, longer. Not to mention Hope Girl's probably watching a video on Netflix. Yeah, or that Hulu does kind of. <laughs> she does kind of do that. Imagine how that your house still runs. You need three connections: one for the garage, one for your bedroom, one for the living room. You know, separate connections. Anyway, and you can monitor the download time on this, and you know, I was just actually shocked because I, I had been playing Angry Birds on my PS3, mm -hmm. which, <laughs> and then on my PSP, which is you know a small screen again, and obviously looks much better on the PSP than it does PS3. And then I started playing on this and thinking that it's going to have the same kind of reaction, small screen to big screen. I'm going to have kind of like you know, um, pixelation. No, it looks really good. Mm. So, and it does have a relatively high resolution screen. It's not like, you know, a pretty pixelated screen. I don't know what, what the exact What is the resolution? I don't know what the exact dimension is. It's like 800 by something. Looks like, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a wide screen. <clears throat> That's weird, actually, the as aspect of it. Well, it's the aspect of, you Looks know, the, the paperback book, you know, and it, it's a little bit longer. You know, originally it was like this on the normal nook. Yeah. And then they extended the bottom because that's where the touch screen was for... Yeah, it looks, look it looks like a thin, little bit thinner than 16 by 9. Yeah, it's a little it's a little wider than that, and that's kind of nice sometimes. But you know, most like of the videos, iPads, like uh, like a 4 by 3. Yeah, how does that work? Does it have the Does the video still take the full screen, or does but it you, letterbox you can, it? You, it letterboxes it, but you can click it to zoom. So oh. you, can you, you double <clears> tap it, and it goes zoom or on zoom. Yeah, this one. Um, <clears throat> one of the reasons I didn't like. Um, the Nook devs was because when I watched videos, this you know you have to use soft keys to get in and out of it. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it wouldn't. Sometimes I'd trigger the soft key by accident. Sometimes it couldn't get back out of it. Um, and that was that was one of the big deals that they did on you know that people were excited about with uh, the Nook software 1.2.0. Um, and if you're running 1.2.0. I'm pretty confident with the, uh, you know, the or, uh, Clockwork mod that you can boot into it, you know, and get rid of it. Hmm. Uh, I haven't done it, but because it bypasses uh, the bootloader and, you know, uses its own, I'm thinking that you're not going to have a problem with that. So. So it's not the May the Fourth be with you, and now it is Cinco de Mayo. It's Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> oh, Cinco de Mayo. What a great changeover <clears throat> of holidays. Of course. <laughs> All right, so it's we've downloaded it. We're installing right now. 
All right, and so. we're done. So let's open up our lovely Angry Birds, because you know we have to kill pigs. Kill pigs! Kill pigs! Kill pigs! Play, like, that cop killer song or something. Well, my sons like get excited when this song comes up. All right, I'm gonna. Just go to the first one. I'm just going to see if I can get this closer to the screen enough to... Oh, do your dance again. I missed uh... it. Nope. <laughs> nope. No, no more dancing for you. <laughs> but, you know, it looks pretty good. Give or take the flashing from the, the cycling on the screen. <clears throat> Loading. Yes. Let's attack a pig. <clears throat> Yeah, looks pretty good. You know, it's it's kind of nice to play at this size. Looks like it's native resolution. It's not scaling it. Yeah. So there's no real big pixelation, and it it runs smooth. So I haven't really had a a big issue with this. It's also got decent audio. It's not. I mean, for a device, it's not made to really do anything more than speak, right? Yeah. It, it, like, well, no. It's like you, you've had. Um, Let's see if I make it look like I'm stupid right there. Um, I say I'm playing real well, um, but the uh, the audio is not shabby. It's it's loud. <laughs> it's, it's, I turned it up all the way. This is up all the way. But the nice thing is, all, you have all the buttons that are functional with most tablets now. Um, they're not. They are definitely soft keys, not hard keys, but they're you know in familiar. They're all the same spot, you know. You don't chase around a soft key that way. All right, so that, that's it. That's the process. That's how fire you mod. do the fire mod on it's, your, your new It's color. pretty, pretty I, I feel it's pretty fail-safe. This is one of those ones that you, I don't, you know, if you're confident using Nobody in the forums is saying, oh, I, bro I bricked it or anything. Yeah, and, well, and you, you know, you, you can have issues with bricking. Let's, let's not, like, every time you do something like this, if you interrupt it, things like that can happen. But you can unbrick it. Let's just say you can unbrick it with... Clock, you know, clockwork mod because I did it, I, you know. So it's, yeah. but this device, this method, I haven't had any problems with bricking. You follow the steps, and it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. So. So, that's it, I guess. If you guys have any comments? Leave them below. Leave them below, and. Uh, yeah, it, we'll uh, we'll play around with some other things on um, on the nut color. So if there's something you want, you know, you, you can uh, send us, you know, messages. You can follow us on Twitter, and you know. I'll take suggestions via Twitter if I have to. Yeah, I'm uh, at Walking Crow. I'm at, to uh, to at Tommy Five C. And actual Raggable is at Raggable. At Raggable. raggable. <laughs> <laughs> how, how convenient would that be to be and, have your name be the then, name? Then the massive uh, two smart guys. Which yeah, is actually which, two smart guys. Which is nice. <laughs> um, but you know, it's a really nice and it, fully functional tablet. I haven't run into anything that you know stands out as like, oh, I can't do this. Yeah, but I will be you know plucking away at it. See if I can find something to break it. See so, you guys next week. See ya. Say goodbye, Bye, guys. Subscribe to the feed. That's all I have to say. See you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.